Hi everybody, this is John from Name High Family Firearm Center. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and watch our Top 5 Wonder 9 video because this one is one of them. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Browning High Power, FN High Power, the P35, whatever you want to call it, it's a high power. So like in our Top 5 reviews, our Top 5 All Metal uh, Wonder 9 reviews, this is our Browning High Power. Uh, so, the Browning High Power was a, the brainchild of Browning, sort of. It was Browning and his understudy, and I, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. It's a very, Sayev? It's a very hard name to say, I can't say it. Uh, thank you, Dylan, for being on the camera today. Uh, Dylan's going to join us for this review in, in a few minutes. Uh, guys, the High Power... Uh, was his brainchild. Unfortunately, he didn't get to see it through. Uh, he ended up passing away before it came into, uh, into fruition. Uh, the high power just fits your hand really well. Like, like we said in our other video, it does have that neutral grip angle. You can get 15, 13 or 15 round magazines for this gun. The recoil is very low. The recoil cost is very low. Um, the only thing I would say that if you're going to shoot it a lot, bring a pair of gloves with you. That trigger is metal and it is a heat sink, so it does tend to uh, burn your hand. There's a huge aftermarket parts uh, available for this gun. Sights, uh, safeties, like we said on the Mark III, the safety's really small. Uh, triggers, trigger jobs, uh, you name it, they make it for the high power. Even Nighthawk's making some. Um, so is Robar. Um, so we're gonna go out and shoot this model, then we're gonna come back. Dylan and I are gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about it. And then we're going to show you how to take it apart and give you our, our thoughts about it. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're going to head out to the range. All right, guys, I'm out on the range with the Browning High Power. This is the FN model that we had. I got 13 rounds in the magazine. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this. And then we're going to go get a five round accuracy group. This gun shoot great. The trigger is great. I don't get any hammer bite with this gun, uh, but man, does it just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. So we're gonna go head down range and get a five round accuracy group. All right guys, not bad for 21 feet. I did it put it where I wanted to, but it's still center mass. Dylan's gonna go ahead and shoot this gun. Uh, and then he'll talk to you. So this is the Browning High Power, and like always, we use Blazer Aluminum, or this one time, Blazer Brass 115 grain. Right, well, it looks like I got my five shots right where I wanted them. Uh, I really like this gun. The slide works really well for me. But as always, we're using Blazer Brass. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome. All right, guys, we're back from the range. We're, we're still on the range uh, with the FN High Power. We're Browning High Power, P35, depending on who you talk to, Mark III. Um, I didn't shoot too bad with it. I pulled like a couple shots, but the recoil one pulse on it is great. Uh, Dylan, on the other hand, put them all right where he wanted them. So, uh, guys, this gun is just Fantastic to shoot, easy to shoot, Dylan. What do you have to say about the Browning? Well, I definitely, this is probably, uh, I thought that I shot the 320 really well, but I think the FN and the Browning High Power are definitely some of the most accurate pistols I can shoot. I think it's because of the slide and everything, but I mean, that was, I mean, it was what, inch group? I mean, that gun is, yeah. that gun's just great. It's just a great shooting gun. The sights are really easy to pick up. It's got a really good point. When you point shoot, it's really easy to get on target. A uh, single action trigger you will have to get used to, it does pull uh, low a little bit if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. While I got it here, I'm going to take it apart. So the way you take a Browning high power apart is you pull back the slide. There's a little U-notch right there. The little U-notch uh, holds the slide open. You push up and out on your uh, slide stop, release, and it'll come right off. And Remember how in all my other reviews we talked about the Browning tilt barrel design? It's right here. 
This is the first one. Well, 1911. But right there, you'll just take out the recoil spring, put it back in, put the gun back together, pull back, lock the side back again, make sure everything's lined up nice and neat. And once that, perfect. Now, I would decock it, but you know, work you with no magazine. <laughs> so, guys, I want to thank Dylan for joining us today. We both really love the high power. There's a bunch of us in the store who own them now. So, come on in, check us out. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the little bell for notifications. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, comment below with any comments, and make sure to visit our retail location in New Albany, Ohio. Dylan, Thanks again for helping me out here. No he can shoot better than me. I can admit it. Except when it comes to rifles. Maybe. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day, guys.